started our day bright and early and we just got to our hotel in Rome. We're staying at the Soho house here and I'm really excited. It seems a little off the beaten path, but it was really close to the train station. As you can tell, I'm very tired. My mascara from yesterday is smudged under my eyes. We had a late night. We had a lot of trouble getting home. It was like quite a journey and we were so exhausted that I like couldn't even handle vlogging up until this point. But let's go check out our room and check in. The travel's really taken it out of us, so we just got some food and some drinks. We've been hanging out in like the club level here, which you're not allowed to like film or take pictures in, so I couldn't really show you. But our room's ready, so I'm headed in. Let's do our little room tour. Can we take a moment for this card? It's literally the coolest. I'm so excited to see what the room looks like. So let's do our requisite room tour. <gasps> what? Um, psh, I can't, I don't have words. I can't even turn around and look at this right now. Oh my gosh, are you ready? Wow, I was not expecting this to be this big. I don't know if you guys remember, but when we got engaged, we were staying at the Soho house in Paris. And yeah, it was literally a shoebox. It was so tiny. So I was expecting anytime you're in a big city for it to be really small. And I don't know what's going on here. But we have a kitchenette. Like, I wish my actually kitchen at my house looked like this. Like, look at this little bar set up. It even has, like, bitters and a little, like, atomizer thing. Has this amazing, like, vanity situation here. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I can't handle this. It makes me want to redo my entire house to look exactly like, ah. There was, like, music playing. Oh, my gosh. This is actually unreal. Okay, so we have like a little kitchenette area. Of course, these light fixtures are amazing. I wonder if that's uh, Murano glass. I'm sure that they have like ode to Italy here because we're obviously in Italy. Amazing artwork, lamp, furniture. So here's the living room area. And then it's, oh my, so this is a suite apparently. I did not realize this when I was booking this. Here is the bedroom. Do you hear this classical music playing? Oh my gosh. I'm so into this bed. Oh my God, the bathroom's gonna be amazing. I just know it. it. Took me far too long to figure out how to open this door, but it looks like it's like an indoor outdoor moment. I was not ready for this. This is, oh my gosh. This is literally another level. Okay, let's go to the bathroom because I actually can't handle this. Honestly, it's the hotel bathrooms for me. Just absolutely immaculate. And my favorite thing about the ones at Soho House, they give you like a full skincare kit. Like they have everything you could ever need and more just like here. They have deodorant. They have like designer toothpaste and you get to keep it all. Obviously we're in Europe, so there's going to be a bidet, which I actually really, really like. Oh my gosh, cozy robes and a gold rainfall shower. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Honestly, their interior design is one of my biggest inspirations. Like how many bath products could one person need? I want to find out. Not gonna lie, a highlight of our time in Paris at the Soho House was eating the special cookies they had. They were so good. I don't know if you guys remember that if you watched that vlog. So I'm super excited to see what the treat in here is. We gotta find out. Oh, <gasps> yes! It's another take on a chocolate chip cookie and this looks so... <gasps> I'm seeing crunchy edges, but I'm not a monster. I'm gonna wait for my partner to come enjoy this because that's just rude. I am one happy girl. After a lot of tiring travel, I feel like I'm feeling a little bit run down. I may or may not have booked a 30 minute massage here tonight. We're gonna eat pasta for dinner and then we're just gonna like go to sleep early so we can see all the sights in Rome tomorrow. We have a limited amount of time, but we really wanna take in some of the city because duh, we've never been to Rome and it's one of the most incredible cities in the world. We're kind of calling this trip like a sampler platter of Europe because Sparky hasn't been to a lot of the cities. I haven't been to a lot of them. So we're just trying to get a taste this trip and do as much as we can so we can come back and spend more time in the places that we feel the most aligned with and excited about. I would love to know your favorite city in the world that you've ever visited. Comment below and let me know because maybe we need to check it out. I think we've also learned some really valuable lessons about planning ahead, but also just being open to the magic that unfolds, holding on too tightly to the idea of having the perfect trip or hitting all the big tourist spots or making it look Instagram worthy. Like we're learning a lot this trip, but we're having so much fun in the meantime. Update, we discovered there's a freaking washer in here. Oh, our stuff's disgusting. This is perfect. I'm in literal heaven. I just got out of the slowest, most soulful, incredible, product-filled, delightful shower ever. And this fella is out here making a cup of tea. They have a tiny teapot in here. 
we're both kind of sick and run down i'm like having the craziest swelling on my ankles like it's scary like it looks like my ankle swallowed a ball and we're just like so tired and we just did not expect that this would be this nice nor did we and realize how much we just needed a couple days of reset because i realized i've been operating in stress mode for two weeks two and a half weeks even though traveling is so much fun and so exciting it can be like really challenging to stay in your routine so i haven't been doing my breath work i haven't been doing my stretching like i haven't been checking in with myself update somebody tried the cookie without me I've forgiven him, but like, I do think it was kind of rude that when I was in the shower, he ate one of the cookies out of the tin without me. I did think that you have one already. I swear, oh, how would I, I would never do that to you. We have an agreement. Well, it's like unspoken, but like, you know what I mean? He said, well, I do now. <laughs> Whatever, to redeem himself. <laughs> He's made me yet another beverage. This is uh, a little espresso with like a little oat milk and this amazing cookie. And we were just reading these books. They're so good. They are about like how Soho House does their living. Like they, why they intentionally design their spaces the way they do. The like beauty of a slow morning. I'm just so into this. I literally even talked to my therapist about this. It's so silly to like say, but she was like, you know that you get overwhelmed by travel and rushing and big cities and crowds. And if you don't like ground and take your time to like bring yourself back down, you can start to feel really off balance. So build in a day. She always advised me to build in a day after a trip. Cause a lot of times I'd come home and like have a big shoot or have a big project due. And I'm realizing like, I just don't want to do that to myself anymore. So even if that means I have to make my vacation a day shorter, I might need a day to acclimate and like catch up and do admin and like get my life back in order. So anyway, I feel like that's what we're doing here on the travels. And I've told you guys before, like travel so expensive, obviously. And we've been wanting to do this trip for a while. And I had to like, you know, it's a lot to arrange to take time off work, to be able to like, you know, afford it, to plan everything. And we've been doing it very last minute and trying to find like the most, um, I guess like the best deals we can in different ways. But one of my favorite things is to do like more of a budget hotel for several nights. And then if you can afford a little bit of a nicer hotel for just one night, I think I've told you guys this before, but I've started doing this and it has been like some of the best memories I have are made at like really luxurious hotels. And I've only been, I was only there for like 24 hours, but because of like how deeply I sunk into the experience, it literally felt like I was there for days. And like, I have so many memories of being there. It's just so interesting how time can move more quickly or more slowly, depending on how present you are and just depending on the experience. But I'm just so happy to be here. I'm realizing more and more, like I love my creature comforts. I love like good interior design and just cozy, thoughtful touches. And as we're here, I'm kind of taking notes for how I really want little Apple the cabin to be. I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna like end up um, like renting it out or Airbnb it down the line. If you guys obviously, like I would put it out to my BFFs first probably just because I only want people that I know and trust staying there. Um, but I don't even know if we will, but if we do, I really think I'm just like taking notes from the playbook of like have the coziest coffees and teas like have things that really enhance the experience and I'm realizing like even taking that slow nice shower and using all the products I can't remember the last time I took a shower and didn't have to rush through it because I was running late for something it's just the little things the little pleasures in life I'm just really enjoying it and we've literally been here for three hours and I'm the happiest girl on the planet it just takes a little reset I already journaled I was journaling I yeah, I feel like I've really sunk into this, so keep you posted. Well, we know how to trash a room. Honestly, I did not vlog today because we slept in and then we went to breakfast at the hotel and then we hung out by the pool and then we chilled in the room. So I literally did nothing. We just needed like a recoup day after so much travel. We're doing a tour tomorrow. So we're gonna see the Coliseum, the Spanish Steps, like all the main tourist attractions. And so we're like, let's just take a down day because we still have a couple more destinations that we're trying to hit. And we just don't want to get too like worn down. So it's really nice. I'm here. 
they had the washing machine so we've been doing laundry um that being said it's still messy in here but it's so nice to have the space like i worked out on the patio I had to do some work today so it's just been nice to have like a little home away from home um here's my little outfit of the day i'm wearing this little anthro bubble top that i think i've shown you guys let's try this Ooh, and I paired it with the Zara skirt from another try-on if you guys saw that one. So I just kind of put these together to make like a little dress. Um, and I think it's actually really cute. And I didn't want to do my hair because it was kind of greasy from my massage last night and gross from the pool today. And obviously I couldn't be bothered to wash it. So I just put it my favorite little do. I'll do a tutorial on it, but it's very easy. I think I may have done one. I literally put it in high pony, then just twist it into a little bun, pull whatever hairs fall and give them a little wave. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna try to get dinner. I called so many places and went online today. A lot of the very, very popular restaurants book up well in advance, so I was unable to get a reservation. They only had one in like next week and we're already gonna be gone. So I'm just trying to go with the flow and know that we weren't even planning to come here, so anything we get is a bonus. But we are going to one that has such, ins I've never seen a restaurant with like 50,000 reviews that has like four, what is it, 4.8? Uh, yeah, and they're renowned for taking people that don't have reservation if they just wait a little bit So we're crossing our fingers that we're gonna get some like delicious uh, real like Roman Italian food um, So wish us luck We're headed to what is the area called Travis State? What is it? Trastevere. Trastevere. Yes, remember trust like trust in, yes. in, in English. Uh -huh. And Tevere is the name of the river. Ah, uh, Tevere. 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 Trastevere. Trastevere, bravo. Yes. All right, well, that's a good area bravo, for uh, going out at night yeah. and restaurants, and it's very busy. Full of bars and restaurants. Cool. raining but today is our sightseeing tour so they put little plastic things on here apparently you can drink from all the fountains here as long as you have ice cold water and as long as you can reach the fountain source this one i don't know though because it was a doom death basin so i don't know if i want to do that one <laughs> that might be bad bad karma or something <laughs> tail feather here. You can really just, anybody can just walk in there and drink it? Yeah, it's from the side though, not from the basin, yeah, okay. just the side thing. going to a little organic family run fruit stand that's been here forever where they feed the senators and sell it to all the restaurants and it's like a secret little thing in the center of the city. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's No, no, don't so use your hands to drink, guys, because oh, okay. it's not organic. The organic way to do it is this way here. What? You, close you block off. it? Oh, what? What the hell? Go. <laughs> Quite nice face wash as well. Too much trajectory. <laughs> what happened? I couldn't wait 
and I pop this tomato into my mouth and it is the sweetest, most delicious tomato ever, but it's your turn because you're the one that's a tomato skeptic. Okay. He's a skeptic on fresh tomatoes. Washed in that cold, fresh fountain. Is it so sweet? Whoa. What do you really think? It's like candy. Yeah. It's like candy. I've been trying to convert him to fresh raw tomatoes for a while. That's what? why he gave me back a plastic one. Yeah. So you can actually wash them. Wow. Oh, me and this guy. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah, this is great. Okay, practicing right hand, left shoulder. I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready. It's almost time to put our coins in. Whoa. I thought that you were making a wish, but apparently you are making like a little contract that you'll be back. So we're, I guess we're gonna come back. That's exciting. Said that, he said that you, the fountain can generate like two, one to two million euros per year just by people throwing it in there. And that the intention is that it goes to charity, but it's just wild to think about. Some of it doesn't go there. <laughs> Some of it doesn't go there, he said. <laughs> Sad. A leaning tower. Of Rome. <laughs> of Rome, not Pisa. <gasps> we just saw the Colosseum through an alley. We're gonna see it even closer. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's huge! This is so cool. We are going out to dinner. We are going to the place that our amazing tour guide, Danielle, Daniela, recommended to us that he called in a little favor to get us a reservation and I'm just seeing some all new things here through the car. There's like this giant beautiful building we just drove by. People are taking pictures on this little bridge. It's so charming. We're excited to see something else. I got a facial, if you can't tell, so I have no makeup on, but I'm feeling like so fresh and dewy. You got a massage and it was lovely, you yeah, said. Was, we did oh some God. infrared sauna. Um, we just had a really relaxing and restorative afternoon because we've got another travel day tomorrow. Um, and it's just been such a lovely detour. This has been so much fun and I think we're both in the same boat that we have so much more we want to see here. So we will Definitely hopefully be back back. soon. Oh, it's so romantic. This is where he proposed to his fiance. I just think it's such a cute story. Ooh. All right, here we go. Thank you. We're testing the theory about all the drinkable water here. So we found another fountain right outside the restaurant where we just ate. Everyone's gonna think we're freaks, but they may not know the secret. Um, so it, the secret was it has to be accessible, which it is. And then it has to be ice cold. <gasps> it's so cold. It is it's cold. a good one. But the thing is like we can't reach it. So he said don't put it in your hands, remember? Yeah. So maybe this isn't drinkable because it's not, you can't really get your head in there. Yeah, it's not, it doesn't, like, unless you... I don't know, it's really cold. I think it's drinkable. It is. You just don't want to find out the hard way. It's just my beard's going to get drenched. I'm doing it. It's a whole... Mmm. So good. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sparky follows the water sommelier on TikTok. I wonder if he's ever come and done this. This is like the water tasting experience when in Rome. Honestly, it just blows my mind that they had plumbing like before we, anyone else had anything and they built these giant aqueducts to bring water down from the freaking Alps. This is just amazing. Also, update on dinner. How was it? My lord. We best meal we've had in Rome. said it was hands down yeah. the best meal we've had in Rome. The salad? Oh, the salad. It was like a radicchio a with pear and balsamic and cranberries and blue cheese Good. gosh it was literally the pasta was unreal it was al dente it tasted so fresh like i actually can't i can't handle it it's it's we were saying we wish we had discovered this the first night daniela did not steer us wrong not. we are so grateful for him and now he also recommended to us a second place to go get gelato he said they make it fresh every day in front of you with like very fresh like wholesome ingredients so this is gonna be the best food night. Spicy chocolate. They have spicy chocolate. This gelato made that made the gelato in Portofino look like a joke. No offense, that was great. The flavor is way more inventive. Cinnamon is my favorite flavor since childhood. I used to have cinnamon ice cream. This is spicy dark chocolate. It's like cayenne pepper. I guess it's like crushed red pepper. 
and dark chocolate. The cinnamon, I can't. I couldn't decide what to get. Everything looks amazing. I'm just so excited. 